guys, welcome back. And this is part two of my unboxing the Page Master Trading Cards Booster Box of 36 packs in each booster box, um, eight cards per pack. Um, as you missed out in part one, this is where we left off with a, one of the same cards with Long John Silver when Richard Tyler and the book Adventure um, head on over into the adventure section after after their boat got crushed by Moby Dick into a million pieces. And now we're going on over to the second half of the booster box packet here. So here's the next pack. Let's hoping we'll get another one of these aluminum cards in one of these packs somewhere. Well, we have fantasy, but let's hope we'll get another character in there somewhere. Okay, let's see what we got inside here. Oh, we got the same card from the last pack. It's, in case you missed out, this is uh, the one where Richard Tyler and Fantasy are being haunted by a foreshadowing, um, haunting, glowing effect. I think it was from Mr. Hyde. And this was card number 29, uh, a wall of flames. I think it was a wall of flames. It was from this card that I'm pointing right over here. It's the same one. It's the same card and the same number. So let's put that in there. And the next card, and this is, must be another piece of the illustration puzzle, uh, which it's, I think it's the same one, card number eight, where you had need to help which tile go through a maze to find his way back home. Like in act one and three of the whole movie, Page Master, and that's part of the three act structure. Act one is live action, um, second act is completely animated and act three is back to live action form so let's put that in this page next card this is um where the paint from the decorated ceiling in the library in live action uh, the real world it's melting in front of Collie Culkin of uh, Richard Tyler and then it all forms into this tsunami of colors and then transforms into a fire waiting dragon this is what you'll see before you get into the animation world and then, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen the film, um, Richard Tyler comes across the actual fire breathing dragon in the fantasy section. And this is, this is card number 12. 12. And this is the melting ceiling scene by the end of the first act. So we'll put that in there. And we have ourselves another character card. And it's Dr. Uh, Mr. Hyde, and Dr. Jekyll becoming Mr. Hyde. It's card number 85. Mr. Hyde might be considered the dark side of Dr. Jekyll's milder personality. He might also be considered the scariest and most dangerous man in the strange world of fiction. Emerging when Dr. Jekyll drinks his famous potion, Mr. Hyde is a hideous beast of a man who possesses the ferocious looking face and a violent temper to match. You could just, you could call it that. Oh, it's upside down. Next card, we have another look at the page master from the ceiling in the, in the real world. We've seen that before, but this is going back to life when Richard Tyler reached the exit sign and he found his way home along with the books, Horror, Adventure, and Fantasy, card number 77. Right before Christopher Lloyd now going back to Mr. Dewey, the librarian. The librarian saying that it took quite a spell. And it did take quite a spell. In the next card, uh, there's Richard Tyler. He doesn't look that good. Uh, he, um, he's having his angry face on, I think. And he's about to put on a knight's armor with the helmet, the shield, and sword to be prepared for action to save three books. This is um, card number 69, preparing for battle. He's preparing for battle. Um, feel free to pause the second part of this unboxing video if you want to read the description on the back of each card. Now it's on to another page on, of my collection book. And the next one is, here's adventure on a path of some sort. And he comes across one, two, three, four, five mice. Five mice. Um, I don't recall. I don't recall the mice uh, in the movie itself. Wait, this is a sixth one in that in the bottom left corner of this card. Hmm. 
uh, entering, uh, sorry, the title Adventure in Fantasy's World, and it's card number 57. The final card in the pack and Adventure is angry at Horror having an argument between him and Horror um, saying that you'll never be like me, you'll never be Adventure, and Horror wants to have a happy ending because Horror has sad endings in both in books and in horror movies, uh, which are only suitable for adults. But um, yeah, you probably know what I mean by that. And now let's go over to the next packet. And now I've completely lost track of how many packs of trading cards I've opened. And it sucks to figure out how many packets you've opened and how many packs you have left. Uh, we have the same splash of color as you've seen in the first part of my unboxing. Uh, like a tsunami of colors um, going uh, going all around the fiction section of the library and um, making it go from real to, to completely illustrated and completely animated. Um, it's chasing after Richard Tyler, um, who had the fear of everything. Uh, this is card number 13, in case you missed out. And, um, and yeah, we have a few of the same cards, in, I think, in this pack. Um, the next one is the same um, exit sign off in the distance of the adventure section um, when the sun is about to rise. And this is um, card number 30. Yes, this is card number 30. And the next card, you get to see Dr. Jekyll transform into Mr. Hyde after taking his famous drink, poisonous drink, I should, take. I should think it's strong stuff, probably strong stuff. And this is card number 26. And in case you missed out on this one, um, there's Long John Silver um, carrying a map leading to where the treasure is. Uh, it's leading west and probably up to a tree. I think one of the pirates turned it upside down, considering it to be a waterfall. There are no waterfalls in Treasure Island. It's This is the treasure map in card number 30, uh, 43. Yeah, back in part one, you've seen this card where um, Richard Tyler Macaulay Culkin is about to duck um, as he's been surrounded by the tsunami of colors um, in the middle of the fiction, fiction section of the library. Um, he still has that feel of everything, pandophobia. Color catches up, and this is card number 14. If you don't remember which number this card, what no, card number this is from part one of, of my unboxing video. I think we have another piece of the puzzle. I think I've seen this one before. I see fantasy in the corner, and it looks like um, peppermint sweets and a gingerbread house, and uh, I don't know. Okay, let's see who's next. So, card, um, packet, two cards left. And there's um, Captain Ahab from the adventure section. Um, that's um, from the part where he's about to get Moby Dick or, or the whale. And the final card in the pack, uh, there's the page master with a different expression on his face. I think that's near the end, uh, before the end of the film, before we go, go on over to the third act in the three act structure. Um, yes, that's it. Um, card number 75. The page master reappears. Uh, let me read you this part. Okay. Richard and the books enter the mountaintop observatory and come face to face with the famed keeper of books, the page master. But Richard is not too thrilled to see the man responsible for putting him in so much pearl and says so. Let's go on over to the next packet in this box. I think I've seen this bit before back in part one. I'm not so sure, it's probably the illustration. Oh, I think I spot Richard Tyler somewhere. Right over here in that bunch of people, um, the villagers. That's him with the glasses and the red shirt that he's wearing. At the back, there's a, there's a crossword, uh, the word search, I think, and this is card number three. Okay, let's see what's next. Uh, we have the same character card here, that's Pan from back in part one. If, feel free to pause the video if you haven't, if you don't remember the description of Pan on the phone. 
and we have ourselves another dragon um, about to snap the beanstalk in half when when Richard Tyler is about to make his way out of the dragon's belly right showing card number 74 and we've all been, I've already come across this card as well um, Richard Tyler's trying to make his way out of the dragon's belly when he swallowed him whole um, this is card number 72 and we've seen this card as well back in part one um, adventure is all wet and soaking after being splashed by a wave of salt water and the seaweed on his forehead card number 31 adventure is all wet now i've seen this card already um a dead man's skeleton on treasure island and double crossed this is card number 44 and this um i've seen this one as, as well fantasy played by Whoopi goldberg um he, she still lives and we have another fantasy, I've seen this one as well, and this is card number 46. And this card of fantasy sitting on the pirate's head um, is card number 48. Um, that's what we call her finesse. Okay, that's that pack sorted and onto a new page. Oh, oh, good grief, I think I just messed this bit up, but it's okay. Next pack. Okay, let's see what we got inside this one. Uh, we've seen this one. Uh, I've seen this one back in part one, where a pirate, where a pirate took Richard Tyler's library card from out of his pockets, grabbing him by his right foot upside down. And this is um, card overboard. This is card number forty-one. And the next one, which I've already seen, um, a very dark, foreshadowing look at. Captain Ahab in the adventure section. There, Thor she blows, and this is card number thirty-three. It's card number thirty-three, and we've seen this card as well back in part one. Um, a look at fantasy, and um, looking at Richard Tyler's library card. Like I'm a book, I can read, and it's very similar to the aluminum aluminum foil card version of this of this of this card. But I'm saving this for the. For when we reach the end of the booster box and when we reach the end of the video that is and the next one i think this one's new when the page master makes a richard tyler start his journey through the fiction section where your journey begins and then richard tyler is being ridden by this i don't know why it's called it's a thing where you carry books from one part of the library to the other um anyways the page master did it with his magic before he disappeared out of thin air. This is a speeding book card. It's a book card. Uh, the same thing that Mr. Dewey uh, was using when Richard Tyler in the real world enters the library to take shelter for the bitter storm. This is card number 17. Card number 17. Next one, I think this one is another piece of the puzzle, another piece of the illustration. And I can see swans carrying a king in a blanket, uh, a net, I think. And there's there's a giant on a beanstalk, and those are the people of Arabia, I think. And I think that looks like a big giant book, as big as these men with the swords and costumes. I don't know. And and we have ourselves our next a page master poster. Um, the card number 90, that's the last card, um, with the, um, we have um, number 90 on our hands. Uh, this, wait, this is card checklist number B. We already went through checklist A on uh, one of these postal cards, I think. And we've also seen this one before, and this one. And, um, Richard Tyler being haunted by ghost stories, uh, which, which is card number... 28 it's a ghostly greeting and richard tyler holding his sword um making sure he doesn't get taken by long john silver um richard defeats silver um the card number 49. it takes a lot of guts to go through this whole booster box same thing that logan paul did on his pokemon unboxing video okay next packet Oh, we got Mr. Hyde again. We got Mr. Hyde again. This is 
card number 85. This is card number 85. And we have the same um, card from the beginning of this part of the video. Um, card number 77, which which Tyler is back in the real world, um, back to life, and at the start of Act 3 in the three-act structure. That's something I learned in media class. And we've seen this card already uh, back a couple minutes ago, I think, uh, where Richard is about to start suiting up, prepping for battle. His um, assault and armors, the armors are helmet, shield, and sword. And sort of like a King Arthur situation. And we've already seen this card adventure encountering the six mice. Six mice. Oh, we have the You'll Never Be Adventure Horror um, card again. Um, where Adventure is having an argument between him and Horror. And it is card number 53. And I think we haven't seen this card yet. Um, yeah, Richard Tyler, he's still scared, afraid, um, still having that feel of everything. And he has a sword um, nearly close to his neck and in the hands of one of Long John Silver's pirates. And it's a sharp threat. It's a sharp threat. It's, this is card number 37. This is card number 37. And we have another piece of this illustration here. I think this is the Pied Piper. A dog key play a, a guitar and a dog playing the drums, a cat meowing. This is card number six. And I th we had to find out what what the hidden treasure is. It's another one of those puzzles in the trading card collection. And we have the page bastard again as our next character card in the collection. Um, again, feel free to pause the video if you want to see the whole description of each character in each character card. This is card number 80 out of 90. Next pack. Oh, we, we have the fairies again. Um, I'm dancing on... Richard Tyler's hand during the whatever you imagine song sequence in the fantasy section. The fairies at play, and this is card number 59. And yep, we have uh, the fantasy and horror card again. Um, fantasy putting her hand on, fan on, on horror's arm. Uh, and the title, uh, A Helpful Hump, and that's alliteration. Um, 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 two, three words with the same letter. Um, like a helpful hump, and this is card number 51. That page sorted, and the next card we still have another Long John Silver on our hands, and this is still card number 39. And, and we have another one of these adventure cards where adventure is about to take a breath of air after, after capsizing in the broken boat where, where they came across Moby Dick. And where he's being saved by Richard Tyler on on a safe broken piece of wood. Um, this is card number thirty-five. And the next card in this pack is where Richard and eventually climb the ladder and came across the giant squid from twenty thousand leagues under the sea. Again, we've seen this card before. The squid is released. On card number nineteen. And we yes, we got ourselves another. Richard Tyler character card. And on the back, and there's the description. And this is card number 79. Oh, we have Richard again on the magic carpet of an adventure falling face, face downwards, and he's underneath the magic carpet. And clear the runway, and this is card number 63. Oh, another character card incoming. We have another fantasy character card. Card number 81. Okay, next packet. Who's next? Uh, looks like we're gonna get um, every same card in each of these packs. Um, we still have the dragon snapping the beanstalk in half. 
and going down to the ground. This is um, card number 74 again. And this is Richard Tyler again trying to make his way out of the dragon's belly after being swallowed whole. But he's safe. Um, he's safe. He's trying to overcome his fears. And still card number 72. And we have another wet adventure card. This is card number 31. We have the Dead Man's Skeleton again on Treasure Island, double crossed, question mark. And we have Fantasy again, and she still lives. And Fantasy sitting on a pirate's head again. And this is card number 48. And, and we have ourselves a new card here, another Fantasy, but this time with Richard Tyler, in which they come across a safe and boat uh, made out of wood in which they're about to sail across the ocean in the adventure section and there's a hole in the boat and where fantasy is having a little fun in there and fantasy hangs 10 hangs 10 and this is card number 72 again feel free to pause on the video if you want to see the description and read it on every card that you see in this video both parts actually and the next one i think this is new as well and this is where fantasy is grabbing richard tyler's arm saying that she wants to make her way out of the library she wants to be checked out the same thing goes for adventure and, and then she's furious and I don't know how Richard Tyler is feeling right now. And I think I see at the bottom here a Tale of Two Cities. That's an Easter egg. That's um, one of Charles Dickens' novels, a Tale of Two Cities. And Fantasy's Fantasy, in which this is card number 22. But again, this this animation is really well done in the hands of director, um, animation director Maurice Hunt. And the live action sequences, they were directed by Joe Johnston of Honey I Shrunk the Kids. And now over to the next packet. It, it takes it takes three years to animate a movie, uh, a two-dimensional and 3D animation movie like this one. Um, um, maybe four, uh, three to four years. And it takes um, probably a couple weeks or months to get the live action sequences uh, sorted out. Here we go with the splash of color again, the tsunami of colors. And this is still card number 13. And we still have the same exit sign off in the distance when the gang come across the adventure section in the fiction section. And we still have um, the Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde transformation again. Strong stuff, um, card number 26. And we have Long John Silver again carrying the treasure map that leads west, card number 43. And yeah, we still, ha we still have another one of those, um, Macaulay Culkin, um, Richard Tyler ducking down after being chased and surrounded by the tsunami of colors that melted from the ceiling in the public library. And they, they use computer graphics. They used a computer as an animation tool um, they didn't make. They didn't want to make it too cartoony, as said in a featurette of how they made the Page Master. It's all on Blu-ray and DVD. If you want to see what happened throughout the production process, and we have another one of these illustration cards. Um, I, I think another one of the puzzles too. Um, do you remember my advice? Uh, I think I already know with this. When in doubt, look to the books. Um, the card number four. Thank you, Christopher Lloyd. And we still have another Captain Ahab. And we have the description on the back. And this is card number 87 again. And we have the Page Master again, right before the end of the second act in the middle of the three act structure. And card number 75. Okay, what's next in this packet? Please let it be aluminum. Yes, yes, we have ourselves another aluminum foil card. Um, um, this one is all three books, horror, adventure, and fantasy. Um, we don't know how they're feeling now. Um, um, adventure is feeling a little pain on his forehead. Um, horror probably looks exhausted. And I think, um, I think fantasy is 
gasping, I think. Maybe they're being chased by the dragon again. Wow, let's just look at that. Um, Hollow has the magnifying glass. Fantasy still has her wand. And Adventure, she's doing, he's doing that paper thing with so many skeleton heads and bones. Wow, it's... Oh my gosh, I don't even know what you call that, but I've seen Charlie Brown, Sally Brown do that in Charlie Brown Valentine. This is perfect. Now we have two aluminum card... Two aluminum cards. Any, anyways, moving on. Again, we have the same page master card, card number 75. And here we have Macaulay Culkin again facing off with the fire wheelie dragon. Not a fair fight. This is card number 71. I, I've already found this in part one of the video. And back in part one, you've also seen uh, the people of Lilliput um, putting ropes in, around the horror as that's what happens at the beginning of the fantasy section of this film. And next we have another horror uh, being frightened of this and that, of ghost stories and Dr. Jekyll. And this, again, this is card number 24 where horror drops in. Oh, we have another character card. Um, I think it's the same one from back in part one. Uh, we still have adventure. Card number 83. And next we have another Dr. Jekyll in the horror section. Oh, upside down. It's card number 82. And to finish this pack, uh, we still have another fire breathing dragon and Richard Tyler moment. Where, um, where right over here, Richard Tyler is on the end of uh, of the dragon's jaw, um, considering it to be a mountain. I don't know. Okay, over to the next packet. And we really need another one of those aluminum foil cards, whatever they are. Wait, let me let me check the back. Uh, nine foil embossed chase cards. Uh, they're foil. Uh, there are nine of those, but now I collected two. So hopefully, hopefully we'll find um, seven more of those in this booster box. I'm gonna put these at the end of the booster box video, uh, at the end of the collectible book here. Starting things off again with the Vetman skeleton on Treasure Island. Double cross. It is um, card number forty-four, and we still have another fantasy um, where she's still alive. And card number forty-six, she's still alive. And again, she's another card where she's sitting on a pirate's head, which is fantasy's finesse. Um, card number forty-eight, and we have the same card, a second one of these. Um, where F fantasy and which Tylo are on the wooden boat in the event in, in the adventure section and fantasy hangs tight again this is card number 32 and we have another one of these um, fantasy um, um, grabbing onto Richard's hand and we have that little Easter egg again with tale of two cities and the next one um, I think this one is new I think I think it's needing page master maybe I already done that back in part one where Richard Tyler comes across the page master played by Christopher Lloyd. He's no Gandalf the Great, uh, Gandalf the Grey in Lord of the Rings in The Hobbit, or Dumbledore in Harry Potter. This is page 16. Anyways, I'll read this description for you. No need to pause it. Not only has Richard been magically transformed into an illustration, but the page master from the road to Rotunda um, ceiling has transformed as well. Uh, has transformed as well. I, I don't even know how to pronounce it. I'll put a meaning of that on the next title card. Richard's adventure is about to begin, and as unwilling as he is to face it, there is no turning back now. That is until they get to the end of Act Two in the three act structure of Page Master. And I think I've seen this one again. Um, Wolf trying to blow down the third house. Uh, not by the hell am I chinny chin chin. Um, and the brick house is strong and the house made of sticks and the one made of hay. And they're not so strong. And we have ourselves another page master poster. Wow. I don't even know how many posters are on this card that 
I don't even know how many of these I've got now. Oh, the Page Master poster. And okay, and here it is, a card checklist A. Um, this is card 89, right before we go to the last card, which is a checklist B. A checklist B. Next packet. Please let there be some new cards in there. And what do you know? We started off this pack with a, another page master poster with checklist B. Checklist B, and the last card in all of the 90 cards included in this booster box. I think this one I'll try to keep for myself, maybe, I, I don't know, probably I'll put that at the end of the book, at the end of the video as well. And here's Richard again with Long John Silver, making sure he doesn't get taken. Um, he defeats Silver, and this is again card number 49. And yep, we have Richard Tyler again being haunted by ghost stories in the horror section, trying to find his way out of Dr. Jekyll's haunted house. And we have another one of the pieces of the puzzle, um, the illustration with the, with the characters. I think this is card number nine. It, uh, another one of those book puzzles, um, movie puzzles, um, word scramble. And I'm not so good with the word scramble bits. But the answers are on one of these cards, I suppose, one of the 90 cards. There's horror making the funny face again, like booga booga. Um, almost sounded like something I heard in Who Framed Roger Rabbit. And this is card number 47. And the next card, I think I've seen this card already in the first part of my unboxing video. A frightened Richard Tyler, Macaulay Culkin, coming across the fire weaving dragon, considering it to be a mountain to climb on to reach the exit sign, but accidentally um, eventually knocked over one of the stones from inside the dragon's mouth. Uh, a shaky mountain, and card number 60. It's card number 60. Next card, I've come across this one already, and, and it's also a gift on Twitter. Richard Tyler finally reuniting with horror and fantasy as they survived the crash from Moby Dick and the boat that shattered into a million pieces. A reunion, this is um, card number 50. And we have another adventure card where I think he's about to get grabbed by one of the pirate's hands on Treasure Island. Yeah, I come across this card already. Adventure picks a fight. Um, this is card number 40. Okay, next packet. I think for the next one, after this one, I'll go for this one at the bottom. Let's see what we got inside here. Please let there be another aluminum card. And we're starting things off again with uh, Mr. Hyde. And we have another page master card here as well. A card number 85. Yeah, it's 85. And the next, yeah, again, the page master on this card as well. We already came across that. There's Richard Tyler preparing for battle, get, getting the knight's armor, the helmet, the shield, and the sword. And card number 69, preparing for battle. And there's adventure again, um, coming across the six mice again on the road, somewhere in the fantasy section. Oh, good grief, we have ourselves another adventure horror argument where adventure is telling horror that he'll never be like him. All explained on card number 53. And this is um, lashing out. And there's Richard again with the pirate and holding the pirate holding his sword right up next to um, Richard Tyler's neck. Uh, it's a sharp threat again. Uh, this is card number 37. And we have another piece of that um, illustration, uh, another one of those page master card puzzles. And it has to be the hidden treasure again. And I can find out what the hidden treasure is in the middle of each word um, in each of these questions. Which would borrow armor from the skeleton knights. I think the first one is knight. Uh, I'll leave the rest of it. Um, I'm not so sure if I can get through all of that in and a whole unboxing video. It's all about unboxing card packets. And we have ourselves another Page Master trading card, um, character card, card number 80. Now, over to the next packet, like I said, on this side of the box. Okay, 
we need to have another one of those foil cards. The one that shines up against the sun. Okay. And the packet opens up with Moby Dick. It opens up with Moby Dick. I think we've seen this card before. Moby moves in. And this is card number 34. This is card number 34. And we have Richard Tyler again. Um, it's the same Richard Tyler while grabbing onto books so that he doesn't fall over after escaping from that 20,000 leagues squid um, after climbing up the ladder and making a jump for it until he grabs um, Fancy by the hand with, by, on his right and his glasses are nearly about to fall off. And a few books fell down along the way and onto the floor of the library. A desperate grab, if you like to call it. This is card number 20. It's time to turn another page. And we have Adventure again. The same Adventure card uh, where he appears. And this is card number 18. There's um, Horror, Fantasy, and Richard again. Um, making a, an unscheduled landing with the magic carpet from the Arabian Nights page that Fantasy came across. Um, card number 66, and we have another Mr. Hyde card um, right after that transformation. And this is card number 27 again. And next card, the same pirate card with the gun in both hands. I'm facing down a gun. This is card number 45. And there's Richard Tyler again being, being rescued by the magic carpet, saved by the rug. Oh, forget rug, it's magic carpet. And card number 62. And we still have Adventure and Fantasy having a kiss, a surprise kiss. This is card number 67. Okay, what's next? Um, we only have about a quarter of this box left. It opens up uh, with the tsunami of colors um, from the ceiling back in the real world where it transforms into this fire-weaving dragon made out of paints and is chasing after Richard Tylo again. The melting ceiling in card number 12. And, and we have ourselves another Mr. Hyde um, character card. Card number 85. Another Page master illustration from the ceiling in the library. Um, what card number is this again? It's number 77. And we have Richard Tyler preparing for battle uh, again with the knight's armor, card number 69. And there's adventure again with the six mice, it's card number 57 again. And there's another, another, another. Adventure horror argument, um, lashing out, um, card number 53. And there's Richard Tyler again, and with the pirate with the sword in the pirate's hand, getting nearly close to Richard's neck. Um, throat, I think it's, think it's throat, I don't know. Uh, a sharp threat, uh, card number 37, again. And another one of these puzzles on the back. At th and finding the hidden treasure again, card number five, six, card number six. Okay, what's next? I think we need another few new cards in these packs. There's Richard um, facing off again with the dragon, it's the same card. Not a fair fight, it's the same number, card number 71. And there's Hollow again with the Lilliput soldiers and men from the fantasy section. Card number 55, uh, Lilliputians. Um, this is what I was looking for by the time I came across the first one of those. There's Hollow again, where he drops in to say hello and that he was sorry that he scared um, Richard Tyler outside um, Dr. Jekyll's haunted house. And this is card number 24. And we have ourselves um, the same um, 
we have the same character cards. Um, we still have Adventure and Dr. Jekyll um, cards in number um, 83 and 82. 83 and 82. A few cards left in this pack. Um, Roger Tyler and the Dragon again on card number 61, Fire Breathing Dragon. And we have another on one of these cards with a frightened Roger Tyler and the Greyhound. Uh, a high pound, which one is which. And I can't remember which book he opened and where the hound came from. And this is card number 23. And there's another, we have ourselves another. Richard Tyler where he becomes illustrated and animated in the beginning of the second act and three act structure where he goes I'm a cartoon but he's an illustration as set by the page master and this is um, card number 15 yeah this is card number 15 I think this is one of my favorite um, Richard Tyler cards I'll read this one for you the wave of color subsides leaving Richard both astonished and terrified Slowly, he raises his hands, examines them, and gasps in shock. Not in shock, I, I, I don't think he was that frightened. Uh, how could it be possible? It's a rhetorical question. Richard Tyler realizes that he's become a talking, breathing cartoon version of himself. An, an illustrated version of himself, as said by Christopher Lloyd. Let's try this pack. We need ourselves another foil card. We need another foil card. We have a one, another one of these. I think another one of the puzzles. And the word scramble card again in card number nine. And there's Hall again doing the booga booga thing on Treasure Island, which is card number 47. Another terrifying and frightened Richard Tyler where he comes across the fire breathing dragon considering it to be a mountain to walk on this is card number 60 and there's the reunion card again with Richard um, horror and fantasy um, card number 50 out of 90 there's adventure again with the pirate hand behind him which is um, card number 40 and we have that Moby Dick card again and card number 34 it's card number 34 before the boat crushes into a million pieces and yeah we have the two same cards from the library um, which are the falling from the bookshelf where he grabs fantasy by the right hand and his glass is nearly falling off that's that's card number 20 and and there's adventure again he appears right on card number 18. I don't think we're gonna get all of these foil cards by the end of this booster box video. We have another close up of the page master from the ceiling of the library. And this is on card number 11. I think I came across this card back in act one of the first part of the video. There's Dr. Jekyll about to take his drink and put an olive in it. A colorful cocktail. Is it colorful though? This is card number 25. And there's another one of these puzzles. Um, there's a genie in the background and there's a chicken and a farmer carrying an ax and a magic flute. And there are books in parts of this tree over here and that tree. Oh, and I think I spot horror over there on that rooftop of the house. Uh, a rooftop, um, uh, the book um, represented as a rooftop. And those are the answers on that card. Oh, we have ourselves another aluminum foil. Uh, we have ourselves another foil card. Uh, the same card with Richard and the pirate. And, and, and his and a sword in the pirate's hand. And it's foil card number three. And if you can see on the back of this F6, and there's Captain Ahab, and there's Long John Silver, and the two characters on the back of this card. So we'll put that here, and we'll put this one over here next to the Jekyll card. And we still have um, Long John Silver card again. This is card number 86. And we have ourselves another Page Master card 
white when Richard is about to enter the exit. Richard's true victory. That's card number 76. And there's Richard about to face off the dragon with the knight's armor, the helmet, the sword, and the shield. Wait, card number 70. And there's Adventure and Horror again at the beginning of the fantasy section. What's next in this pack? And we open up this pack with another one of these puzzle um, cards. And do you remember my advice? I, of course, I remember the Page Master's advice. When in doubt, look to the books. And this is card number four. And we have another Captain Ahab character card. I think this is card number 87. Card number 87. And we come across uh, another Page Master card um, right at the exit sign. Uh, he reappears. Um, and there's card, that's card number 75 again. Another Richard and Fire Breathing Dragon card. Uh, not a fair fight. And this is card number 71. There are the little puttians again um, tying up horror in ropes and and this is still card number 55. It's card number 55. What's next? We have another horror dropping in card and this is card number 24. I mean, how many of these card numbers are we getting out of all the 90 cards appearing in this booster box? And two character cards again, Adventure and Dr. Jekyll. Cards number 82 and 83. How many packs do we have left? Um, well, it doesn't matter. We'll probably get there once we reach um, two left. Next packet. I think this is another, another one of these final um, puzzles, um, puzzle cards, I think. Uh, I think that that's going closer. There's a bear on ice, a fox, I don't know what that is, um, a nutcracker soldier, and I think a gull, and on a swan boat, and I'm being carried by two whales, and dolphins, I think. And, and I don't know who that is next to the fireplace. And I think that's a mermaid right over there on that stone, book stone thing. And I think these are the hidden names. I think this is a word search on the hidden names, a crossword, I think. I'm pretty sure I know the rest. And this is the final bit of the movie. On, on this card here, we see the shadows of horror, adventure, and fantasy in the light of, in the, light of the a lamp that Richard put up in his treehouse when he finally managed to overcome his panophobia case and the new roommates. Um, this is card number 78. At night, inside the treehouse where 10 year old Richard Tyler sleeps peacefully, three new roommates settle themselves comfortably against a wall. Each figure speaks with a different voice, but all share one thing in common they happen to be books. And these still are books. And there's Richard. There's Richard Tyler again, um, looking down, um, trying to save his three best friends uh, from the fire breathing dragon. This is card number 80. That's 68. Card number 68. And, there, and there's the entire crew again coming across Mother Goose. I've seen this card before. So long, Mother Goose. This is card number 58. And there's Adventure coming out of the treasure chest again um, with, with Hollow on top of the chest. Come out, come out, and this is card number 52. Card number 52 out of 90. And there's Richard Tyler and Long John Silver again. Silver. Silver saves Richard. Would you call that saving? Um, probably from the sharks and stranding on a broken piece of wood from the boat. And there's card number 38. And there's Richard again being saved by pirates from the sharks on the broken piece of wood. The same boat. This is card number 36, but was it really a rescue? Maybe not. There's the character card again with horror. And card number 84. 
So, so yeah, there's a lot of, there, there definitely are a lot of packs to open. I've done 33 now, so there's three packs left. Okay, this is pack number 34. I'm still officially a collector out of the collectors that I've seen on online, on YouTube, on eBay, etc. Okay, I've seen this card before. This is the exit. Um, this is the exit sign. I'm heading for the exit. This is card number 64. In case you missed out, the somewhere in part one. And we, we've already seen this card before. The lion outside the entrance of the public library. Um, where Richard is trying to seek shelter from the storm. Uh, shelter from the storm. This is card number 10. This is card number 10. Um, right in the middle of the first act in the three act structure. There's horror and fantasy on the magic carpet again. Um, a fantastic flight, which is, which is card number 65. There's Richard being grabbed by his right foot upside down by the pirate who took his library card. And there's another dark look at um, Captain Ahab from the adventure section. There's the same um, card of fantasy again as is shown on this here um, foil card that I collected from part one. Um, looking at Richard's library card. A book with wings, which is card number 21. And there's Richard Tyler on the book card again, um, in which he was about to take a 30 second ride on right through the fiction section and, um, before crashing into a telephone box. And this is um, card number 17 again. And and we have ourselves another puzzle um, card. This is, this is the first card, and this is card number one. And I think this is a crossword crossword and down and cross. I've done this. I've done crosswords like this before. Okay, two packs left. Let's go with this one. There's another Long John Silver card, which is shown on card number 39. Here's um, Adventure again, taking a, a breath after being in the water for a, a, some time now. Um, being, being one of the survivors who survived the crash from Moby Dick destroying the wooden boat into a million pieces. And that's card number 35. And then here it is, here it is, um, another 20,000 Leagues card with Richard and Adventure climbing the ladder and the squid chasing after them. And the squid is released. This is um, card number 19. And there's another character card, Richard Tyler, Colin Colgan, card number 79. Card number 79. And here's another Richard card um, on the magic carpet um, and adventure lying face downwards. Another character card, a fantasy. We still have another fantasy. We have ourselves another um, a puzzle card, card number seven. And there's the same card that I mentioned, uh, the shadows of horror, adventure, of fantasy, and the light of the lamp on top of um, Richard Tyler's treehouse at the end of the film. And this is a card number 78. I don't think we're going to get all of these um, foil cards by the time we get to the very last pack in which we have come across now. And never trust the Rotten Tomatoes score of this movie of 21%, um, but it, it should have been around 50% um, for this film. Anyways, we've come across this Page Master card again, card number 11. There's Dr. Jekyll again, taking that drink and putting an olive inside it, which is um, card number 25. Another puzzle card and with the answers on card number 5. Another Long John Silver character card, which was card number 68. Another Page Master card. I'm going Think Boy. 
which is true victory. This is around um, card number 76 out of 90. Three left. We have Richard Tyler in battle again um, against the Fire Breathing Dragon, which is card number 70. Two cards left. And two of the same cards, which I've already collected in part one and the second part of the unboxing video. There's Adventure and Hawa releasing him from, from the ropes um, made by the Lilliputians. Hawa comes to life, and this is card number 56. And last but not least, the final card in all of the cards that I took out of this booster box. That is Adventure Finding Richard Tyler's Library card. The card is found. Uh, I'll read this one to end the video. Continuing to nurse his injured pride, Adventure walks along the beach. Suddenly, something sticks to his peg leg, um, a wooden leg. Uh, he bends down to remove the annoying item, takes a good look at it, and jumps up and down with glee. It's Richard's library card. And that, my friend, is card number 54. So, a massive shout out to Sir Patrick Stewart, aka Professor X in X Men. And now, it's time to put these at the end of this page here. I opened, I, I came across this card first thing, so I'll put it here. This was the second foil card. And this is the final one that I collected in the booster box. And finally, finishing off with the Page Master postal card. That was a lot to go over. That was amazing. All done and sorted. So there we go. I finally unboxed the booster box of Page Master trading cards. Can't believe it's all empty. I'll pick it up later. Whew. That was a lot of cards to unbox and take out of each pack. 36 packs each. Um, eight cards in each packet. I better take off my reading glasses because I'm no longer the Richard Tyler of unboxing Page Master trading cards. I could, I could be the second generation of Richard Tyler as I finally have Macaulay Culkin, um, Richard Tyler's um, character card. I'm definitely gonna keep it safe in my Page Master trading cards collectible book. And I'm so lucky to have got the whole booster box. And I'm so lucky I got to watch the Page Master all over again. Um, from now on, it's 26 years old. Um, it celebrated its 25th birthday back in 2019. I better finish off the video and put this back in, in a book where it belongs, the book where it belongs with all the trading cards. Anyways, if you like what you just seen, thank you so much for going over this with me. And have you seen the page master have you not seen the page master yet after giving you all the spoilers through each card that i took out of the booster box and each pack um, um be sure to write those thoughts down below <laughs> be sure to like the video subscribe today for new videos hit the bell so you don't miss out on any trade reaction videos and you can follow me on my socials links in the description thanks for watching and be sure to watch the page master on blu-ray and dvd right now and I really think we should put that on Disney Plus because it's Fox material and now Fox is owned by Disney, and which is why it's now called 20th Century Studios. Anyways, thanks for watching. And this one's for you, Macaulay Culkin, if you're watching this right now. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.